Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. We're here at an undisclosed location with Engineer 775 and my son, and we're working on an LPO uh, slash bunker slash definitely a hunting blind. Uh, we're overlooking some key infrastructures, and we want to keep an eye on it uh, in a raw situation. And if it's not a raw situation, this would be an ideal with the pasture and the pond would be an ideal place for uh, turkey, calling them right into the pasture and for deer. So it will serve two purposes. And hopefully it'll just serve as a deer blind and we'll never have to use it as an LPOP slash bunker position. An LPOP is a listening post observation post. Uh, you need to make it so you can easily defend it for a short period of time. It's not really a fighting position. Ours is sort of going to be a fighting position too, so we're actually combining both of them for this location. We have it dug out. We're going to put a platform down. We're going to put this camper cover on four posts to raise it up. We're going to put some ballistic material, sandbags, and some timbers along the side. And then we're going to camouflage it with camo netting and make it look to blend into the natural vegetation that's here. Uh, this is good practice for us, and hopefully you guys will see it and will understand more what an LPOP is. During the day, I'll be showing you progress. Thank you. Continuing building, what we've done so far is install the platform. Put uh, four four by fours coming up to support the camper cover. Everything we're working with today has been uh, salvaged, except maybe the concrete blocks that Engineer 775 is contributing. So everything else is 100% recycled material, so it's not a lot of cost. Uh, as we continue, we'll keep showing you. All right, what we've done is we've got the sides on it. We put some tar paper because we're going to backfill, take all this dirt right here and we're going to backfill it against it, try to blend it in with the uh, terrain that we have here. Engineer 775 is trying to get in here so we don't have to shovel all this dirt and he is in here. Backfilling. As we continue to backfill, uh, finding the dirt and backfilling it, still have a lot to backfill. We're going to bring it up to the top of those timbers, hopefully. We've gone ahead and run some uh, field phone wire in. So we have the field phone wire already in there, so we can just keep covering it up. There's Engineer 775. This has not taken a lot of time and very, very cheap to make. Hopefully we never have to use it as an LPOP or fighting position, but this will just give you an idea what you can do with improvising. Now this is not textbook position. We should have went a little bit down and dug into the ground, but we want a good vis visibility. So we, we decided to go with this one and it's gonna make an ideal deer blind or turkey blind. Alrighty, I'm no more than probably 40, 40 yards away from the LPOP. Uh, you can barely see it in there. We still have to f finish the camouflage job on it. We have a green camo netting on it, uh, but I'm going to add a little bit of a tan so it'll blend into the ground and the leaves. Right now you can see a little bit of the dirt around it because it's freshly dug. But after we put some leaves on it and do some finishing touches with the camouflage, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be very hard to see. I'm gonna zoom in and see if you can get it. Uh, but it's right there. All right, we're inside. We're pretty much done. We still have some little things to do, but for today we're done. And we worked on about three hours, three guys, so it's not too bad. Um, this is called the combat multiplier, LPOP or fighting position. Or hopefully we never have to use that. Hopefully it is just a deer stand and a turkey stand. Uh, but we will see. The, uh, the building should be pretty pretty dry, uh, so it should shed water, so you won't get wet. You'll be more comfortable. If you're more comfortable, you're more apt to uh, hopefully pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some sandbags around. Oh, hold on one second. This is LPO before. Go ahead. Roger. I hear you loud and clear. Thanks. 
That is the field phones we put in here. Uh, this is an American version. We also have some Warsaw pack ones. Uh, just a combat multiplier. We have field phone wire run all over the place. Uh, so it's nice because you can you can talk. Uh, it'd be good for security because you can be in constant contact uh, with the with the house. And uh, what this will do is by not using handheld radios, people can't pick up your reception. So it's just another combat multiplier. Just like this this building right here is a combat multiplier. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the outside or from the inside looking out. As you can see, you can see uh, what we're trying to find out. And we, we have a spot underneath the cover that we're going to put a sandbag all around. But you can also look out underneath here too and uh, see what we need to see. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, hopefully you learned something. Uh, I will finish the thing totally and set it up how we're going to do it. Uh, if you were going to set this up, uh, you'd definitely have a first aid kit in here. If there was a hostile actions, you would have extra ammo stored in cans. You wouldn't use your kit or your uh, gear ammo. You would use the ammo and the magazines that's in the ammo cans. That way, if you have to leave quickly, you have a full fighting load on you. If you use your, your own magazines out of your kit and you have to run out, if you don't grab that ammo can, you're, you're going to have not as much ammo as you're supposed to. So always have extra ammo in your position and use that first. Don't touch your kit ammo until it's absolutely necessary. Thanks for watching.